hi everyone i'm annie and welcome to my channel today i will show you guys how i made the short dress redux from mousse fabric pattern which is free so i put the link down in the description first of all i sorted out the pattern and putting together which is a big uh, mistake for me that i first cut them out and then i just puzzled them together so make sure that you do otherwise first uh, tape them together and then cut it out this is the dress that I will do, it's a little bit different from the original pattern, so stay tuned. I use this uh, very soft, uh, some kind of cotton fabric, I used uh, maybe 3 or 4 yards, and actually this is a little bit three, so, so as you can see I used the under layer for it, which is almost the same uh, cotton fabric, so I just cut out everything according to the pattern's instruction, expect the sleeves and the skirt. So basically I just used the main bodies of the pattern and the collar pieces. And uh, of course I cut out uh, twice uh, like uh, interfacing and also the main fabric. So for the collar, as you can see, I used two layers and uh, I put them together like this. So maybe I just uh, flip it the other and stitch them together and I now place them face to face and along this line I stitch them together and also as you can see I cut down the edges and I made some top stitch on the bottom and uh, also here is the back I made the darts and uh, also in the front but in the front it turns out that uh, it's a little bit uh, too tight for me so I adjusted it and uh, basically I just made a little bit smaller darts so after all I just uh, put them face to face together and along these edges I pin them together and stitch them together this is uh, happening according everything to the pattern instruction so Nothing a big deal at this point. I folded back twice the edges on the front where will be the buttons and the buttonholes. So as you can see I stitched it down and then along these marks I fold it back one more time and also I stitch it down. So this is the neckline and I just uh, placed there my collar face to face and uh, basically I stitched them together and that's it it's super easy so for the sleeves i got this idea that i make uh, this big uh, not square cycle i uh, made four of it basically this is a 40 centimeters wide cycle and a 20 centimeters wide little one i cut out uh, four pieces from each uh, uh, pattern pieces and then I just uh, stitch them together along the outer line and after that I fold it uh, uh, inside out and then I stitch it again along this uh, outer line of the cycle so basically this is totally random cycles uh, nothing special I pin them together and as you can see there is my stitches and along these pin lines in the inner cycle I will a little bit cut over the fabric so that's it making cute ruffles and uh, after that uh, oh I forgot to mention that I use this program on my sewing machine for gathering I don't know why but I think this is the best so let's just put together this looks like a cute shirt now I insert uh, these ruffles to the armhole and basically stitch them together like uh, as you can do with a normal sleeve and don't forget to hem the edges I will use my serger for this uh, later I cut out 50cm long and uh, maybe 8cm wide uh, two straps I stitch them together because this will be the belt of my dress and uh, this piece is uh, almost 20 centimeters wide and uh, I think uh, the lowest uh, layer is 
three meters long, the other is two, and the top is one meter. So basically, I just uh, gather them along these edges and stitch them together like a, you make a baby doll dress or something like that. This is the technique. And uh, of course, I have all the edges with my serger. It's a life saving. So. And now, I forgot to film this part, but uh, I made the same uh, buttonholes on the button. And also, I add a little bit of interfacing to the skirt. Basically, I just stitch the skirt and the uh, top together along the waistline. And that's it. So. I just made this uh, dress from a little bit of scratch and a little bit of half of wood fabric. And I also made this cute ribbon to my hair. So let's see when I put it on how it turns out. To be honest, I am super obsessed with this dress because it's turned out very pretty. And even though I use only just the top of the mood fabric surely dress pattern I recommend it because it's easy and beginner friendly. <laughs> 